Hey BVN, I'm Matt Scowcroft, and today I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. I don't know if you've noticed, but some of the restrooms are locked during the north of the time. Like many, I was furious when I learned our constitutional right of going to the restroom was taken away. Now I can no longer place my bets in the North Time Fight Club. But I decided to approach this dilemma like a civilized person. So I approached some of the administrators and said, Hey, why are the bathrooms locked during North Time? And they were like, no. So that made me learn that the administrators have not gone out and given a legit answer to why they are locked. However, it seems everyone at North already knows why they are closed. Bathrooms are locked because people at North are stupid and they do naughty things in the bathroom. Kids, man, these kids these days, they, they want to do so much extra. Like, like, vape and nicotine can wait until you get home. You don't have to be that nicotine, you know what I'm saying, concerned, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I highly tell kids, do not nicotine at school. Wait till you get home. Because people be fighting, because, you know, that's why they settle their problems. Hey, you just don't want zero problems. Ooh. The reason the restrooms are closed seems to be because there is a club where some youth were beating each other up. But I wonder, if that stops happening, will the restrooms be unlocked? How can the restrooms be unlocked, and will they be unlocked? After asking our favorite administrators, I learned that they'll be shut down during North Time forever, meaning they won't be unlocked anytime soon. So it is time to embrace our locked restrooms. Currently, you can go to the 400 and 100 restrooms, for sure during North Time. The reason the 300 and 200 bathrooms are locked is because those restrooms lack supervision. However, if you ask me, it appears that they have just as much supervision, if not more, than the 100 and 400 restrooms. So that's fun. Now we need to ask, is this really a solution? Basically, they're solving one problem with another. So I decided to ask some students at BVN how they feel about the locked restrooms. I'm upset. I can't fight anymore. I feel very annoyed because I need to use the bathroom, but I don't know which ones are locked, and I still don't really know where all the bathrooms are in this school. I feel like I want to break off their arms take out their bones, make a key, and open up the bathrooms, because I really have to go. Oh, I just hate that I have to go everywhere to find a bathroom. You know, you just go to one bathroom, and then that one's locked, and you gotta find another bathroom, and that one's locked. It makes me really sad, because if I gotta go, I have to walk all the way across the school, which just is not fun at all. Based on how the people feel, it appears it is time for revolution against this oppressive system. Well, BVN, today is a new day. I hope you now know why it is important to know your constitutional rights. I'm Matt Scowcroft, and have a wonderful day without going through the 200 hallway restroom during North Time. the rest of the semester we have two more shows both of them are going to be uh, towards the end of December the first one is called the games of foot which is a uh, comedic look at kind of um, Sherlock Holmes style murder mystery the week after that we're doing a play called the effect of gamma rays on man in the moon marigolds the rep shows the crowds are extremely varied um, we had a rep show last year that had like 15 people show up and we had another one that had 140 people show up I just think people should come and see our shows. There's something magical about theater. I like to tell people that theater is the only real magic that exists in the world because we take something that's insubstantial, that's written on paper, just, just letters and ink and paper, and make something real out of it. It's fun, it's a fun night. You know, it's, it's usually just a couple hours, but you're watching people you know. All of our upcoming shows are put on our website, and there's a list that has our entire season listed, all the dates for all of our shows. There's a link you can buy tickets, but yeah, it's totally worth it, and it's a fun time to spin out.
As we all know, a few weeks ago, Northam was canceled due to the large amounts of trash and food left around the school. What we don't often think about are the people who have to clean up the mess we leave. My name is Paul Conley. Uh, I've been a janitor here at North about going on 11 years. Really what led me here was uh, I divorced in 1999 and decided to get out of nursing and devote more time to my children if possible. And in that process, I worked a lot of different jobs. I watered plants for a living and worked Walmart as a stalker, was a security guard. And finally, I began to develop some carpal tunnel syndrome from lifting heavy boxes at Walmart. And I thought I had better change before I need surgery. So my daughter was living with me at that time and she said, Dad, Shawnee Mission's got uh, uh, janitorial jobs open, you, you'd make a good janitor. So I looked for closer work and North had several positions open. And that's how I ended up here. It's an eight hour day plus overtime once in a while. We really concentrate early on in getting things situated for the meal, answering uh, emergency calls of any kind, doing some cleanup in the dock and restocking. I deliver packages in the school. Gee, I can couldn't tell you the list of little things that we, you know, normally occupy our time with. I think it was a culmination of things, from what I understand, so that there may have been more than just one day, an outbreak of, of uh, real obvious, you know, messiness. And I, you know, to me that, uh, that's just part of us getting, as a campus, getting used to a new format and being a little careful that we don't take our freedom to uh, an, an unfortunate end of being restricted again. I think everybody can learn together. Now obviously the, uh, every class has a few people who take advantage. But I think as a rule, uh, the students can just kind of help each other. It's helpful to have a friend who is close enough to you to say, hey, <laughs> let's clean up before we get out of here because we're going to end up back in the corral, you know. And uh, that, that kind of help between uh, individual students is, is good. You know, I've seen a progression of maturing. That's what you expect, is that uh, from your freshman entry to the time you graduate, you're beginning to change your uh, habits and your attitudes. And so I've seen some people really struggling as uh, new students and taking advantage and thinking it's just a freeload situation. But by the time they're juniors and seniors, they have turned the corner and they're taking care of their business a lot better. And that's a pleasant observation, you know, to see, see us progress. And we all progressed, even the staff <laughs> progressed together.